Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Vigito Studio. I did a quick video to show with you that free transition from our panel transition pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so you can download this transition by clicking the link in the description below. You will get the zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. Then you can open the folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, and the DRFX file. Just double click on the DRFX file to start the installation. And then here you can select install. Then once in DaVinci Resolve, you will find your transition by going over to effect, video transition, video to studio. And then here you will find a sample and the panel transition sample. Now let's just drag two clips in our timeline to start demonstrate how it works. So here I'm just gonna select this first clip and then I'm gonna take this second clip right here. I'm gonna delete the audio because I don't need it. And now we're gonna try to drag the transition in between the two clips. But here, as you can see, it doesn't work. It's because we need to trim the edges of the two clips in order to be able to apply the transition because the transition needs a bit of excess footage in order to be working properly. So here, I'm just gonna trim a little bit that, and I'm gonna trim a little bit that and bring them back together again. And now if we try to drag the transition, as you can see, it's working without any issue. Right now, I'm not dropping any frame and I'm playing fine. It's because I'm rendering the cache of that transition automatically. You can do that very easily by going over to playback and then here in render cache, by default, it might be on none, but you want it to be on smart. We'll just basically bring here that bar and when that bar become blue, that means that your transition has been cached and you will be able to play it without any issue. Again, it depends on your computer power. The more RAM and the more powerful your computer is, um, the less you know, you're gonna struggle to play stuff, but uh, it doesn't really matter. I always have pretty much the render cache here on smart. That way, when you're not doing anything, your transition and effect are cached in and it's gonna be much easier to play them back. All right, now that being said, let's jump into the transition itself. So here you can adjust the timing of the transition by extending it or reducing it. As you can see, that change is reflected right here in the inspector as well. So you can choose the duration here in second. I can select, for example, one second. And as you can see, that change is gonna be reflected right here in the timeline. You can choose to uh, display it basically here in second or in frame. They are linked to each other anyway, so it's the same. At any moment, if you want to reset uh, any parameter to the default parameter, you can just double click on it and it will reset to the default value. Now for the functionality of this transition, you can choose a different direction. By default right now, it's going down, but you could choose to go up instead, or you can choose to go left or you could choose to go right. We've also give you access to the animation curve. So here you have the in and out animation curve. By default, it's cubic, but you can just switch it to uh, whatever you want. So here, for example, we just do a quint instead, and it will just slightly change the timing of your animation. If you know a bit your way around curve and you understand how they work, you can just play around with that and select what you want. Um, but yeah, there is nothing really complicated and that's just like minor changes, but we've included in case you know what you're doing and you want to fine tune some animation detail. Now you can also adjust the look uh, of your transition by here uh, adjusting some stuff in the panel control. You can choose basically the color. Uh, you can also adjust the opacity of that panel transition and you can also adjust the width. So here you have a bunch of stuff you can choose from. You can choose the color right there into black, for example. And here it will just already give you a different style. And that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like us to make next. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.